engine in the loop, maneuver-based test drives on the test bench, new emission test procedures for the type approval of vehicles in the EU, require an exhaust emission evaluation under real driving conditions. Preparing these real driving emission tests, RDE for short, with real test drives takes great effort. The best solution for highest efficiency is to front load RDE tests to suitable phases in the development process. To carry out emission tests in the lab under real driving conditions, the DSpace Scalexio simulator is connected to the test bench. In a pilot project, a DSpace vehicle dynamics model is simulated on a real time simulator in a combination with a Simulation X transmission model and the RDE driving maneuvers. Simulator and test bench interact with each other through a torque and rotational speed connection. The DSpace toolchain supports the creation of virtual RDE test drives with convenient operation methods. Test tracks, maneuvers, vehicle variants, drivability, and traffic situations can be graphically defined, simulated with the automotive simulation models, and visualized with Motion Desk. The synchronized connection between simulator and test bench ensures real-time operation. For this and similar use cases, the International Aquazar Research Project focuses on developing a standardized communication interface. For interface tests, RWTH Aachen University, ESI ITI, and DSpace have developed the test bench connection as a demonstrator. The connection between real time simulator and test bench makes it possible to detect deviations from the emission limits during development and to reduce them early and economically. Customer Benefits Front-loading RDE tests using the DSpace toolchain. Seamless toolchain for front-loading RDE tests to early development phases. Intuitive user interface for defining tests for a wide range of driving scenarios efficient handling of different test scenarios and vehicle variants, precise reproducibility of test drives, and cost reduction via virtualization and front-loading.